Hey guys! All right, guys. I'm here today with this guy, with this fella, this fella that loves this alien weaponry shirt. I'm starting to think that he only has one shirt. Um, we're here to check out the latest video from the Dark Element called "Songs the Night Sings." Very somber, dark uh, title, I must say, for yeah. a song. But uh, th there's a couple of things I want to say before we get started with this video. I'm really excited. This video just came out. I'm really excited to check it out. A few things I want to say first is we've only done one video from this band before, and that was The Ghost and the Reaper. And, and that, that, was... song, that song does not need any introduction. That song is absolutely magnificent. Still on my playlist. I, when I'm feeling a little bit of a need of a pick-me-upper, that's a well, song that I always go for. a face melter. That's oh, that's definitely a face melter of a song. So we've done that song before. This is the second time we're checking out The Dark Element. This is a brand new video, like I said, brand new song. They have a new album coming out in October. I believe it's October. I can't remember the exact date, but on October, they're releasing a brand new album. So this is the first taste of that brand new album. Uh, are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's do this.
another another face smelter of a track. Yeah. Do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? How do you want to do this today? You can go first. Okay, I'm going to go first. I'm going to say, before we talk about the music uh, in the video, because I really feel that this song has to be divided into vocals and, and musical track in order for us to really be able to dissect it. Before we say this, I want to give a shout out to Annette Olsen for having the courage, perhaps, to wear uh, Daisy Dukes in a music video. Uh, I, I, it's, it's, it's one of those fashion statements that's perhaps been lost since the late 80s, early 90s, when, when said Daisy Duke from Dukes of Hazard made that a, a fashion thing, made it like something that, you know, they took the name of the shorts after her because she would wear them in that show. So it's not something you see every day, specifically in a, in a metal music video. So I want to say, uh, you know, just a tip of the hat. Like, it, it takes sometimes courage, but in her case, she pulled it off. She looked amazing yeah. in those Daisy Duke shorts. I must say, she looked absolutely amazing. Now, now that I said that, uh, let's talk about the music. Uh, unless you have any other fashion statement that you want to make. You don't want to add anything? No. no? Okay. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to the Rush patch that he had on his vest. I'm not a huge Rush fan, but they're Canadian. And anytime I see somebody, uh, you know, supporting a, a Canadian band, I always have to mention that. But anyways, let, now let's talk about the music. I, I feel this song it has to really be breaking down into two factors. The, the music aspect of it and then the, the, the vocal vocals. aspect of it. Yes. Uh, if we start off with the musical aspect of it, this song has a little bit of a throwback feel to Nightwish. It's very symphonic in, yeah. in, in nature, right? So, Which, to be honest, I was actually expecting. Oh, were you? Yeah, I was expecting kind I, of... I was expecting like a mixture of power metal with symphonic metal, which is kind of like what we got. Okay. Yeah. So is that what... So, so, you, you, so, know, so you were not surprised musically? I was expecting a hint of Nightwish, mm -hmm. and this was kind of more, of the, more than a hint of Nightwish. I, I agree, it had a little bit more than a hint. And it had more of older Nightwish. I also agree with that, which it's not surprising. I mean, she was a night, she yeah. was a singer with Nightwish, so that's not that aspect is not surprising. And and then I mean, uh, what can I say? That the the way the song is constructed, that that cinematic feel that the, the song has this larger than life feel that I always uh, associate with Nightwish. So that's perhaps also a little bit of a factor. But I agree with you, more of an old school Nightwish than more of the recent stuff. Uh, now this is the other thing I want to say. I. Uh, Musically, I really like the dynamic that the song has. I love the fact that the song is not super fast paced, but it has a nice little uh, tempo to it. It yeah. has a nice momentum to it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and the guitar uh, gives a lot of heaviness off to the song. Exactly. The the uh, Not over the top heaviness. The guitar is not the predominant factor, if you will. It's there. It adds some heaviness to the song. It adds also some melody, yeah. some great melody to the song. But I never felt at any point in time that the guitars were kind of overshadowing everything. It, it was really well constructed musically to allow every single piece of the song to play a, a factor, but not to have one of them be more important than the others. And this becomes even more noticeable in the solo. And the reason I say this is because the solo, you, he could have gone a million different ways with us. And in this kind of a song, he could have gone with one of those old school over the top solos. You know what I mean? Like really extended. Like you, you could have done a million things, like pulling up the whammy bar, doing all the sorts song of stuff. Kind of fits. It fits that mold. Yeah. It fits that over the top cinematic score um, uh, feel to it. It has that feel to it. So he could have gone that way. He didn't. He incorporated the melody and the riff that the song already had into the solo. The first half of the solo is pretty much that same melody. Uh, with, with a little bit of a, a, a faster rotation, if you will. And almost like it was at 10, and you move it to 11. That, that's kind of the feel that you get. So even the way the solo is constructed within the song, is it doesn't allow the song to feel like it's broken. It allows the song to continue with that momentum that it has. It doesn't stop the song. It doesn't stop the song. It doesn't become the main component of the song. It, it, also, it also doesn't make the tempo faster. It, the tempo, like, so Everything it, stays the same. Yeah. And, and, and it, the, one of the most important aspects to me is it doesn't feel like then it's becoming over top of everything else. It doesn't become, uh, the, even in the solo, the guitar still does not feel like the main key component. Because he incorporated the riff that the song already had, the melody that the song already had incorporated in the first part of the solo. And then the solo merged a little bit. It went a little bit off. 
So I really like the way the whole, musically, the way the whole song is constructed is really well, well put together. And to me, one of the most key ingredients in allowing this song to always feel like it's moving towards something, it's even that solo. Yeah. The fact that the solo incorporates a piece of that the song already has, just a little bit faster, a little bit obviously more melodic. I love that. Musically, I love that. I just feel like it allows the song to be really concise, really tight, really put together. And, and just have this like forward motion to it. To me, that's my opinion musically. Now, vocally, before I say something, because it, I feel like I'm the only one talking. Yeah. What, what did you think uh, vocally? I mean, like I said, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting. I was expecting quite a bit of Nightwish, and her vo her voice matched with Nightwish. So the song was musically kind of like older Nightwish, like we said. So just, like from her era. Yeah, yeah. So it matched it matched perfectly. It it matched perfectly. Her it was another face melting performance by both the musicians and, and, and her. And her. I, I agree with you. I thought that they really constructed the song in a way that allowed her to have full control vocally of the song from beginning to end. At no point in time did did you ever feel like the song was getting away from her? That she needed to well, do she something had, she, had she had she like the, the song is like a horse and she's holding on to it and she has it's, it's not hairy. like the horse it's hairy the horse yeah it's and it's not like the horse is taking her she's guiding the horse to where she wants to go i felt that way vocally from the beginning all the way to the end her voice on this track really elevates the track it's like another instrument added onto the track because she has a, a an incredible uh, voice that that's like undeniable. She has an incredible voice, and and the way the song is constructed, it allows her to showcase how good her voice is and how strong it can be, controlling a track from beginning to end. The song, by being very tight, very concise, not having a lot of peaks and valleys, is always very linear in its approach. Even with the solo, the solo doesn't add a peak or a valley, it just stays linear with the track. That allows her for then using her voice, let her voice dictate the peaks and the valleys that the song is going to have. Instead of the of the song itself, like you know, like some songs have the verses is a little bit more faster than yeah. the chorus, a little bit more, so there's those peaks and valleys. This song, her voice, her voice, her vocal tone, her delivery does the peaks and the valleys not the, the song yeah, itself the instruments don't have to do that exactly the instruments everything is linear and then her voice is what gives it the ups and downs absolutely incredible track loved it yeah loved it now i'm really excited about two things one i'm excited about that album coming out and two the prospects of a tour i really would hope these guys would get together and come to the shores of north america and dazzle us with this with kind some of greatness exactly give us some incredible vocal performances and some guitar solos and Crap like that. I love that shit. All right, so two things. Looking forward to the album and hoping for a tour. I think the album is a given. It's coming yeah. out. The tour. The tour. You let's know. keep our fingers crossed and hope that it that it happens. All right, guys, this is it for today, but come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.